didn't even get the number of times he was allegedly molested correct. He changed it from two or three times, four or five times when he told police, to two or three times on the stand. He changed facts. The brother changed facts. The sister changed facts. That They didn't know. No one had a story straight. The mother was a part of this whole wacky story that none of it made any sense, that they were being held prisoner and whatever it was, craziness, hostages. And meanwhile, she's using Michael's Rolls Royce to go tromping back and forth to Los Angeles, but she's supposedly a prisoner. I mean, the whole thing was ludicrous. Having her nails done. The nails, and she had full body waxes, and you have no idea what was being coming out of these people's mouths. And of course, Tom Mesro was brilliant in bringing all of that forward and showing these you people saw who him was that. Right? Oh, of course, I was sitting the next behind Michael for for all those months. So everyone close now, up. Tell me about that. it. Tell me about Tom. You know, as as you hear him in the interviews, and as he is as a defense attorney. Does Tom he, is he riveting? It, Tom Mesro is... I will, my description of Tom Mesro in a courtroom would be to say he's like a tiger. I mean, when he wants <laughs> to pounce, he's sitting there looking beautiful and 